Hello there, everybody. I hope that you are ready because we are here for the final game of the day. Veteran, we saw an upset in our previous matchup. Do you think we're going to be seeing another one here with Domino undefeated taking on Ruddy? I mean, upset starts playing this week. Um, but here, I think Ruddy, I mean, if they bring out something weird then they could potentially lose with style and really win out where it matters, which is in the social media points afterwards. Um, Domino, on the other hand, they have a very good shot of victory today, right? Um, yeah. Snabby especially, the way he's been playing around the early game. Um, I don't want to say it's efficient. I don't even want to say it's correct. I just want to say it's difficult to deal with, right? Especially if you're not a team that's all on board well, the I same mean... page. I like Ezreal into an Aphelios, I'm not going to lie. Like, the yep. range it plays into the Aphelios is pretty effective for denying the boomerang stuff. Um... Darius, though, he doesn't like being kited, and he's into no. Aphilios. So there's a bit of an issue there, especially if Aphilios just goes straight on top of the Darius, you get the mitigation on the Q damage, right? So Oh, with the, 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 with like, the, you can go red-white and basically just stand in melee range of the Darius, yeah. Oh, I meant you get mitigation of the Q damage from Darius's big swingy axe. From, from his swing, so, yeah, you don't yeah. get hit by the outbit of the axe, so you don't get yeah, all the hemorrhage on you. Yeah, because he wants to be standing on top of Darius because of the white thing that you're talking about, right? So, exactly. big, yeah, because of that, um, the Aphilius is actually oddly well placed in towards the Darius. Um, the Yumi being banned is interesting. Yumi Ezreal is a good combo, but Yumi Darius sounds like a disgusting oh, combo. Buddy. No. What's happening mid? Hello? Oh, uh, a potential fighting. I think Shackle's just oh here God. trying to ensure the wave is going to oh, go through, but Clover 7 has stepped up a little bit oh! too far. Oh, everything's going to go wide. They're chasing down onto Darius. Shackle, but I think that Clover is going to be the kill. Shihan with first blood on the Darius. Okay, the most characteristic thing about Adam's Darius that Shihan yep. is replicating is the tendency to make plays off of priority topside in towards mid, in towards enemy jungle, just own the top side of the map. It's very common for old Trindamir players to do that, and the Darius, Garen, Olaf kind of trinity, those types of players have kept that legacy going, right? Doing that proxy, getting the easy priority to be able to invade topside jungle, all that just yeah. off the knowledge of Sejuani early parving, that's really, really good from Shihan, shows he's incredibly comfortable in these stat check champions, and that he doesn't fall into a binary mode of playing it, he tries to bully. Must have had a pretty good wave state for himself Ooh. at that point, but they are finding a mark on top, they are actually going to try to stop the Darius. Yeah, knockup going to come through there from Spooner, but not utilized by Clover7. This is looking very close Ooh. to a solo kill. Not quite, but Spooner is the one that walks out with the credit. Yeah, I mean, they had the information of Sejuani bot side the moment that the Drake was taken, and they acted on the information really well. And Darius was out of sync in terms of waves of the rest of his team on that. Really good opening from so, him. It's much easier to get that state of play in now, now that Yasuo is on the board. Shehan going for a little Rather. bit of a proxy, but Domino will Rather. interrupt it. Okay, he's kind of just let himself get caught out and given another kill over to Spooder. This is not what you wanted to happen. He was so good at knowing when Gragas was transitioning from bot to top beforehand and knowing we could proxy, and then suddenly it's just all collapsed, right? A lot of that knowledge he isn't able to use now. Yes, the camps are up on bot side, but he should know that there was timing there for Gragas to be there. But he wasn't. Shackle playing really well early, punishing the Darius. He's playing towards Spooder, and it's worked in the past of them. We've seen the team do very well in the NLC off of the back of a carry top laner. But you are pigeonholing yourself in terms of who can carry Darius. Notorious for his ability to 2v1. Shihan not going to be given the opportunity, Close. though, as Shackle gets his first kill of the game. Yep, Shackle did not have to burn his ultimate for it either. That was just the exploding Q that went down. Clover playing very aggressively in mid because now he knows he has the threat of both top and jungle. Gragas has vanished. For all MV Carry knows, Gragas is about to hit that brush in mid lane right now. Clover going super aggressively, fighting for priority here. Oh, Spooder could potentially threaten. Look how much Spooder got top, by the way. Down to two plates. Incredible oh! stuff. Starby flash for an engage. Zapto dodging away from the Glacial Prison. Envy Carry flashing back in the mid lane to get away from the potential engage. We're oh. getting a 4v4 here in the bottom side river, and it's going well for Clover 7. Oh. Get the ult, but only onto one and two axes. The first casualty of the fight. This Yasuo cannot find oh a kill as he stands. The healing from the Soraka is way too annoying. And Ruddy, they get the kill on the ADC. They should be able to pick up the kill on the Yasuo as well, but Clover7 will find a minion wave and dash to safety.
I mean, Pui is on Soraka, but it's Clover 7 that feels like S here because, my god, he could not one-shot Zap, though. And so Pui is able to get the heals off, and Yasuo just can't get anyone. It looked like such a nice engage for Domino. Looked like potentially such a nice fight for them. But Clover, he's just gonna die. Yeah, overextending to the bot lane, and he doesn't well. even get a retribution kill back onto Zap, though. This is a lot of gold Shackle. going over to Ruddy Shackle. Looking for a little bit of a 2v1 play, Pui. Very low on HP. He's able to no. get those Qs, get those Rejuvenate stacking up. It could be an issue Hold for Domino, but with more members Aye. moving over, they should be able to pick up the kill 2 axes with that one. Resisted the urge to just dunk on the guy of the W there. Mm. Nicely done. By Shackle, he's playing this game very, very, very well. But my god, you can already see... It's going to be an issue dealing with Soraka later on, right? Soraka with the E on top of the Yasuo as well is also just going to be very difficult if the Yasuo ever gets on top of a priority target. If you can't one-shot, mm. Soraka's just going to guarantee that you can't do anything. But yeah, for sure. I mean, Snappy hasn't been allowed to leave bot lane, and previously you'd think he might just leave bot lane, but he realizes that might be a bit troll, and the enemy might enjoy going 2v1 double range into Aphilius on the tower too much. Um, right? so, uh, uh, speaking of 2v1, um, ha. Spooder... Uh, you you have killed the enemy Darius. Yeah. Three well, members of Domino's here in the mid lane. MV carry so. needs to be careful. Ooh, dodges away from the cube, but goes back in. Oh, CC going wide from Domino's. The only reason that MV hey! carry is still alive, but a double no! pass into a double arc up. Surely is going to be enough. The healing keeps coming Please. through. There, Finally, yeah. MV Carry is going to drop down, but oh it ends up God. being a one for one. Pui with so much value coming out of the Soraka. Yeah, I mean, this is a huge issue if your plan is to just dive them on repeat, right? And let's be real, we talked about the triple dive by Ruddy. The triple dive also exists for Domino, and both mm. teams have anti-dive champs. Soraka's just, uh... I mean, honestly, the dumbest one, right? Out <laughs> of the two of them! <laughs> like, I, I, what, what do you do if your entire team is now just on top of a Soraka E? You literally can't do anything at all. Yeah. You have been uh, silenced. We've got a Drake coming up in, in 30 seconds, and if you've got no mid lane towers, generating priority, it's risky. Yeah, I mean, you can get run down here as Domino. They're trying to find Ooh. something, but Shihan finds something! Yeah, oh, and he just completely no. obliterates Clover 7. A double kill for the Darius. And with that mid lane opened up, he is free to run them down. Four kills for Ruddy Drake, a certainty. Up the Ruddy. They are swinging. They are officially ahead in kills. They are officially ahead in gold. And they've been ahead on the map for a while. And they can take their pick and they say, we want to have it all. Baron mm. and Drake, potentially going to Ruddy. It'll be a very long way for him to yeah. find it. You see the pings going down on the minimap. Ruddy continuing yeah. the push. Domino looking Graguni. for a fight. Graguni! He's on the side. He's on the side. Throws out the party cast, but it knocks Pui oh. back. That's not the direction that he wants to throw the Soraka at all. And the party is over for Domino. And Shackle gets kicked out of there. Spooder in the back line. 1v5. No, it's Clover 7. Trying to cause some sort of chaos, but Xi'an with a ghost is going to be able to run him down. The Darius will be more than happy to take the 1v1 versus this Yasuo. For the rest of Ruddy, though, it's all about the base. It's all about pushing as much as they can. Yeah, Shihan kind of wishes he has a bit more move speed here, but it doesn't matter. He's just keeping Yasuo from grouping up. Ruddy win this particular grouping 4v3. They're going to take the tower. They're going to push in. They're going to break the base, and then you have to think... It becomes, I have to think of another phrase to say it because I keep using the same one every time, a question of when Ruddy will end rather than if. Uh, maybe. <laughs> he got Yasuo Domino eventually. going to be able to grab something here as Clover 7 he does finally he go. go down off of our screen. Domino, they're still looking for this fight though. They see that Sheehan isn't there. They're able to capitalize oh, it, take no. out Toaster, a shutdown for Shackle. Spooder going to be stunned but still chasing forward onto Zapdo, oh. knocking him into the sky and into the rest of his team. A fourth kill for him, but Domino, they need to be careful. There are super minions on their Nexus Towers. Yeah, I mean, they wish they could convert this into Drake Control, maybe try and make a play for that, but they have to spend too much time in the base. Shihan is not letting them get away with it. The All the towers are up, but they weren't able to get an inhib, so there's only one mm. lane of super minions that you have to worry about right now as Domino's. They can take that, but... 
They may just be against a Ocean Soul empowered Ruddy on next with a mm. Soraka, with yep. Redemption, with Moonstone, with everything Seeing up. That if they lose this soul, it's going to be very bad for them, so they're going to be starting it up. Ruddy moving over here. Respect Should it. be able to get here just in time to contest. Envy? And for Domino, that's going to make things really rough. Envy looking for a flank, a double apprehend. Where is two axes gone? Clover 7 on the side, hunting for Pui, trying to take down this Soraka, and he is going to be able to. But the rest of his team is absolutely in the dirt. Shackle walking away. Spooder being chased down by Zapto. And for Ruddy, it's a case of running into the base and taking out the Nexus. Up the ruddy right there, the inhibitor minions on top lane are just going to push themselves. Ruddy are going to push out bot. Spood is having some fun with Zapdo, but Zapdo is the one who's laughing because he is the man who is going to claim the win today. Ruddy, they're going to be one and two. They're taking out one of the only two undefeated. Both undefeateds have been taken down today, and both of them were taken down by 0-2 teams. The bottom has taken out the top of the standings in the NLC. Continue. I'm going to push this until they make the official slogan to expect the unexpected. <laughs> what do you mean I expected, veteran? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just betting against Middlecott for the rest of the split, and that's just going to be a free win. It's actually just going to be a free win if I do that.